Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to be doing a follow-up video on my tutorial on how to solder uh, your lithium-ion batteries. Uh, since the video got uh, really good traction um, I will be addressing some of the issues people pointed out in uh, that video. Uh, first of all, it's really not safe or really not completely safe to solder on to the batteries but if you're like me and doing like two packs a year I mean there's really not not any benefit or really no justification on getting somewhat expensive spot welder so in this case the uh, simple uh, soldering process is really not that that uh, dangerous or or yeah it's not dangerous if you know what are if you know what you're doing so if you have decent soldering skills and if you have a decent soldering equipment you are really fine so there's no issues uh, that I experience over the, I don't know, like two years I'm uh, using lithium ion packs. So let's go over what you need. First of all, be sure to roughen up your poles. If you roughen up the poles, the solder will take on really good and you don't need to be heating up the battery for the solder to take on. So if you just roughen up the poles you are uh, really no, no need to to keep on the the soldering tip way too long on the on the on the battery just simple tap and you're ready to to go. So uh, let's go do that. So let's do the soldering. So <clears throat> the way I do it I use a little bit of uh, soldering flux and just rub it in to the poles just a smidge and I also use tin or soldering paste just on the tip so I will be measuring the temperature of the battery before soldering it's 22 degrees Celsius of 73 Fahrenheit and if I do this and take the measurement it's not heated at all so it's really safe to touch and I will be doing the same on the other just a touch with the soldering iron so again it's 77 or 25 degrees and also battery is not heated at all so also uh, the tip is when doing a wire you also need to need to do that with the wire so I like to do the wire exactly the same a lot of flux and a lot of solder and again just a touch there you go no more again let's take the temperature measurement it's Sorry. it's 30 degrees 
and it's safe to touch. So there's really no need to go too hot, too long, and I mean it's it's really safe. It's it's not heating a battery at all. So the next step, um, a lot of people ask me or told me not to uh, do the those uh, little spacers. Um, for the battery because the batteries uh, touch each other I mean that's really really a valid point because the rubbing against the uh, insulation of the cell may cause it to deteriorate inside the pack and yeah I, I addressed that with the new version of the spacer uh, because I'm using uh, 21700 cells this time um, there's n no 3d file of the spacer uh, anywhere available so me and my friend Vladko actually designed a really really lightweight solution I mean this whole contraption weighs about 4 grams so uh, the way it's supposed to go together you can stack as much as you want uh, as much batteries as you want so if you have you if you are making a four cell you just insert that and uh, as you can see there's a little room between each cell so and if you are doing a success you need these parts or this clips to make a 6s version so you have these two these two and six cells aligned and there's no touching between the individual cells it's honestly it's ma it makes the pack bigger but yeah it's ma it makes it also safer so this this pacer is really really uh, lightweight and doesn't affect the weight of the battery and it's also super easy to to stack the batteries now because you just run the tape like I show, showed in a previous video and you have yeah your your safe way to uh, connect or make the pack so um, let's uh, go and do uh, this pack and I will compare it to the one I made previously with 18650 uh, cells. By the way, these are Molly cell um, uh, cells. Uh, it's uh, 21700. Uh, it's um, 4000 milliamp hours, uh, 45 amps rating. So these should be plenty good for my long range rig. So let's assemble this battery and uh, compare it to 18650. So uh, here we have our uh, assembled 6x pack. Uh, just to double check, we have the all cells reading, so it's, everything is connected. Um, I uh, skipped the part where I soldered everything uh, together. You have the uh, soldering or or tutorial uh, linked in the upper right. So uh, to compare this 21700 uh, pack, it's uh, 4000 milliamp hours, and this is this is 18650. 3000 so 1000 
uh, milliamp hours more and this is 35 amp pack and this is 45 amp, amp pack um, don't let the size fool you because um, I have in this one this I call it save uh, spacer if you want one of these I think it's actually really hard to print out on your normal printer uh, if you want one uh, leave the comment in the comment section so yeah uh, let's go and compare these two and see what's the weight so so it's 310 grams for 18650 and it's this is noticeably uh, heavier and it's 432 so somewhat heavier this is 6s um, 1800 and this is 6 S 2200 so yeah it's heavier but it packs 1000 uh, million hours more than the 18650 so uh, I don't think the weight will affect my 7 inch all that much but I think the performance or actually range will significantly significantly be increased so yeah that's uh, the follow-up to my tutorial video and yeah if you know what you're doing then it's safe to solder um, lithium ion pack.